Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to a very quick video today here in Microsoft Flight Simulator and if you are a user of the Fly-by-Wire A32NX, the Headwind A33900neo or indeed also the Payware Phoenix A320 aircraft then you need to be made aware of something quite serious that has happened and has caused all sorts of problems for lots of the virtual pilots out there. In the last day or so, lots of people have been reporting problems with these three aircraft and systems not working correctly. All three aircraft having different issues, but nevertheless, something very strange has been going on. Users of the Fly-by-Wire A32NX have been reporting that when they have been loading into their aircraft, the battery voltage has been shown to be zero. Obviously, this renders starting up the aircraft a little bit difficult. And worse than that, also, once you've got external power connected, multiple displays in the aircraft also weren't functioning properly. No amount of resets, reinstallations, or anything like that has been able to fix this issue. Also, rather randomly at the same time as this, users of the Phoenix A320 aircraft were finding that the electronic flight bag, the tablet, wasn't always working correctly. In fact, sometimes it wasn't even turning on. How can these two things possibly be related? Well, it turns out that they are. And of course, because the Headwind A33900neo aircraft uses the fly-by-wire systems, they too have also been having problems over the last day or so. And it turns out that this is nothing to do with the Phoenix, the fly-by-wire or the headwind systems. This is in fact all to do with the Windows Defender firewall. Now, the fly-by-wire team, amazing as they are, have quickly identified what has been happening is that the Windows Defender has actually been deleting some files the A32NX uses because it is falsely detecting that it is a Trojan malware piece of software. Of course, that is absolutely not true, and the fly-by-wire team take malware and viruses, etc., very, very seriously. So the A32NX is, of course, absolutely safe. But with this latest update of the Windows Defender, this is what has been causing the issue. It's also the same reason that the Phoenix A320 EFB has not been working correctly either, as once again, the Windows Defender has been flagging up some issues and basically interfering with the aircraft. Now, the good news is that most people are finding that after you have updated your Windows Defender to the very latest version, this seems to be resolving all of the issues. There is a link explaining in detail how to go and do that in the video description down below. And the developers at Fly-by-Wire and Phoenix have also stated that they are going to look into what has caused this in order to hopefully mitigate this from ever happening again in the future. So yeah, basically, if you've been having issues over the last day or so with either of these aircraft, then there's a good chance that the Windows Defender Firewall is the main culprit. So let me know down in the comments below if you have been having issues. And once you have updated your Windows Defender and then reinstalled the A32NX and the Headwind aircraft, the Phoenix aircraft, you shouldn't need to reinstall. Then has this solved all the problems for you? And are you now back flying in the skies as you wish? wish. Thank you so much for watching. If you have found this video useful, then please do hit that like button. And of course, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And of course, turn on the notifications bell as well, so you don't miss any future videos or live streamed content. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all again very soon. Bye bye for now.